everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm mary and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and welcome back today we are going to be watching a steve martin movie actually i probably shouldn't say that because he's not the director or anything at least as far as i know i haven't looked into the imdb just fyi only know that this is a movie that stars steve martin and it's a comedy and that is it i haven't heard of this film before until today i don't know anything about it i'm stepping into it completely blind before we jump into it i want to quickly talk about patreon because if you guys want to support me you can check out the uncut version linked in the description bar in the pink comments down below for the uncut version you just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me there's going to be a time i could be on one screen and the movie could be on the other screen but besides uncuts i also provide early access to my content bloopers polls bts all that good stuff and down below you can find me in all the social media handles i am on everything so check it out and you can find my two other channels my gaming channel cherry plays and my vlog channel very cherry all right guys let's jump into the jerk oh is that steve martin oh is he playing a homeless man i am not a bum uh, i literally asked that is that steve martin playing I'm a homeless man I only have two things, my friends and booze, my thermos. <laughs> Why is he so cute? My thermos. My story? Yeah, I want to know. I was born a poor black child. What? Sitting on the down in Mississippi. <laughs> Oh, country blues. Hell yeah. Now we're getting into work. What the? Oh, he was raised by a black family. Oh! Oh, I'm getting into it. <laughs> Screenplay by Steve Martin. He is so random. Like, how did he come to be in this family? Today is Naven's birthday. Oh, Naven's his name. Yeah. Cute. I do this picture. Here. Everybody's got something for him. They're so sweet. God bless us, everyone. Oh my God, he's so grateful. Naven, you're not our natural born child. How did he not realize that? Like, he's a grown ass man. But we raised you like you were one of us. That they did. You mean I'm gonna stay this color? The wildest thing about Steve Martin is he's looked the same age for like majority of his whole life. He's kind of like Larry David. Larry David looks the same age all the time. Okay, I'm just thinking about Tarantino. I'm like, did he make this film? Hey, he's getting it. Oh, he's getting into it. Oh my God. <laughs> what a commotion. What did a white person make this song? Yeah. They're like, what what about it? <laughs> it's the facial expressions for me. <laughs> Shinola. Son, you're gonna be alright. Tell me you're gonna try What? To first. How is that a life lesson, bro? Don't never ever trust Whitey. Don't trust Whitey. He's a Whitey. Lord loves a working man. Don't trust Whitey. See a doctor and get rid of it. He's he's remembering everything. Bye, you forgot the Shinola thing though, bro. Don't forget the Shinola. Mm. Is he serious? Is he really gonna catch a ride from right there? I bet he's outside still waiting for a ride. I wonder if he's doing alright. He's literally probably out. Oh my god. Oh lord. They, they, they could have at least like hung out with him while he waits. St. Louis, how far are you going? To the end of this fence. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What's your name, sir? Here we are. Okay. That is so silly. I hope I can repay you 
They can still hear him. Oh my gosh. And he's just back at it. I would be so tired. He's hitchhiking a lot. Oh my god, I'd be so annoyed if a dog woke me up. What is it, boy? Are you lost? <laughs> Do you want to play? Ugh, so loud. A fire? <laughs> fire? <laughs> it just said yup. Yup, yup. Is he serious? <laughs> also, that's not how you bark. It's woof, woof, not arf, arf. Boss alarm. It's no fire. What? Everybody Don't woke back, up. Dog, it's exciting. Oh, he gets a dog. I would not be getting that dog. St. Louis? No, Navin Johnson. No. You want to lift the St. Louis? Oh. He is so silly. Damn, that's a heavy key. He can't walk away with it. But sir, I don't work here. Not even for dollar ten an hour. A dollar ten might have been good back in this day. I don't know. Oh my gosh! Doesn't even know how to wax a car right. I'm in closing two dollars. That's a good boy. Woo! A dollar two dollars. Wow! You're gonna like it. Is. Like it? I love it. It's the toilet, bro. I mean, into the main living area. It'll be incredible. No, no, I just elevate this about six inches. Okay, he needs to stop. Still have that flow. Then I can take bookshelves and He's just here. going on and on. Oh, He's not stopping. Right I won't disturb them. They won't disturb me. Take it easy. He is so head. grateful. Oh. He was so excited for the do? toilet. It's perfect. Oh my god, I no. Have to this at all. Oh, I thought he was gonna go on. How much is this gonna cost me? Not you're rich and famous, you'll send me a postcard. Oh, that's nice of him. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that rhetorically, and what he's like thinking, he's genuinely thinking about the postcard deal. If anything should happen to this station, this woman would leave me like a... She's like, it's true, I would. Yes, sir, no more. What? Uh, no, nah, we just want some gas, muchacho. Muchacho. Okay, Wendy, we have, I'm not allowed to have cash coming in or going out because I'm here all alone for the first time. I oh my gosh. Happen. And you know, you flash this kind of wand in front of Oh my gosh. He's got to be the stupidest yeah. so guy. Oh, hey, Turk, we got a credit card in there. Huh? Credit card. They are so gonna oh, okay, steal so from him. That. You want to fill up, uh, Mrs. Nussbaum? Clearly, that's not Mrs. Nussbaum. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's his wife's car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll vouch for him. Okay, as long as we got a voucher. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen. Uh, <laughs> look, he's so obvious. He is so... Okay, why does he have to run like that? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, throw a couple of tires in the trunk. Make Is he going to keep his cool? <laughs> He's still running like that. If I was them and I saw him running like that, I'd be like, oh, no. Don't worry, I can keep him here. I saw this trick in a movie. So meta. This is a movie and we're watching this trick, too. Oh. I wonder what movie that he watched. Uh, that, I guess. Uh, that's not very stable. I reckon... It would easily just go off with the car. It would take the money you got in your pocket. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure, I'll just put it on the card. <laughs> I'll just put it on the card. Hey, yeah. You want a free oven mitt. I'll go get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You guys want to stick around for another minute? Uh. Nah. No. <laughs> Uh oh, they're leaving. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. I knew that would happen. Oh, what a bad omen. <laughs> no, I can't make out the license number, but uh, <clears throat> it'd be pulling a small church. So <laughs> that'd be the one. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh my lord. The new phone book's here! The new phone book's here! 
Well, I wish I could get that excited about Buck. <laughs> Johnson, Maven, R. I'm somebody now. Oh, right. Your name in print that makes people. If you say I so, mean, buddy. What? I mean, I, pr I prefer to have my Names number not on the book. Johnson, Maven, R. What? The Who the hell is this guy? That random son of a typical run of the mill. Is he serious? Oh, it's just a random it, guy that just gotcha. picks people out of the book. Damn these glasses, son. Yes, sir. I damn thee. Yeah. <laughs> damn. <laughs> hey, fix those suckers. Uh oh. Oh, we caught him. He's had many opportunities, so I, I feel like he's just not confident with his shot. And it puts the pressure on the bridge where it belongs. Just like the tie rods on a 72 Buick. But Look, now I he looks like a nerd. <laughs> it worked. Wow. You know, I make a pretty good living selling <laughs> like this. <laughs> 2641. Got the triple dicks. Keep the change. Oh, wow. Man. Look at him moving up into the world like this. <gasps> Oh my god, that guy is a terrible shot. Look at this! What's the matter with these cans? <laughs> I'm no <the> face! <laughs> <laughs> these cans are defective! They're springing leaks! Come over here, look He's at so this! He's so stupid! <laughs> Listen, you better run for cover. You're gonna spring He's a leak. so huh? stupid! Huh? We don't have defective cans, we have a defective fight shot out there! <laughs> He's so dumb. He Oh no! <laughs> he doesn't want to put holes in the cans, he wants to put holes in you! <laughs> I don't understand this villain. <laughs> like, what is. Your life. Cover me! You cover it! <laughs> oh my god, no tires. Come on! Oh, his dog, right. I forgot about the dog. <laughs> Or your sex. Maven, you have taken in fifteen dollars and given away fifty cents worth of crap. Yeah, that's fine. Which gives us a net profit of fourteen dollars and fifty cents. Nice job. It's a profit deal. And you're in a carnival, bro. Take a chance and win some crap. Win some crap. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Get on. <laughs> He's just like, okay, sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Right to her room. Just looking around here, I can tell you're a genuinely dirty person. <laughs> what do I do with this? Dang, lady. Oh, my gosh. She's very dominant. Oh, my God. Hey, you're really trying to be accurate. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> What's happening to my special purpose? Uh, <laughs> Who the hell calls it that? Hey, I'm so mind. concerned. <laughs> oh, he just lost his virginity, I think. Day I found out what my special uh -oh. purpose is for. Oh my god. Gosh, what a great time I Oh had. my gosh. He's telling I his family. The whole family could have been He's here telling with me. the family? As I intend to do this a lot. Oh my God! The family should not be with I you. I think next week I'll be able to send more money, as I may have extra work. Oh, that's nice. My friend Patty promised me a blow. <gasps> Your lovely <laughs> son. <Nate. laughs> that Patty must be a sweet girl. God bless her. Are they okay? <laughs> He's like the only one that got it. You have my last name. Tattooed right there under the J's. Oh my god. I'll bet more people see that than the phone book. <gasps> That's rude. Oh, there was just one kid earlier who had a t shirt that said life sucks on it. Uh, he got off the roundup and he said he wanted to go on the train. The train is gone. Oh my god, that's the Billy with the shirt. Oh wow, he's fast. What's wrong with him being on the train though? It looks kind of safe. 
Oh, maybe not. It would have been so embarrassing to go home without Billy. Embarrassing? Oh, and this fell out. Oh. oh. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm just babysitting for a friend. Oh. oh. Would it be too much if I asked for a kiss? No. Oh. He's a real little Dickens. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh la la. Maybe you might want to swallow. Oh, this is so cringe. Oh. Oh my god. You're trying to ask me for a date? Uh, Just go like this. What's your name? Oh yeah. Marie, what's yours? I'll tell you tomorrow. It'll give us something interesting to talk about. Yeah, you really talk about your name for like the whole day. <laughs> What's up, hubby? Uh oh. oh. I got these for you. Uh oh. Oh my god. Well, I forgot to tell you something. Oh, really? Uh -oh. What? What? This. <gasps> oh, she found out? Oh my god. That's what's gonna happen to you if I ever catch you looking at another broad. Wow. Why would he ask another woman out when he's got a girlfriend? What was it? Uh, a couple of dozen roses. <laughs> Looks like daisy stems. Yeah. What? I think we ought to get out of here before she sees us. She? Uh-oh. When you call a boat she or a, or a hurricane she. Uh, girl? This blonde chick's smart. Did you decorate it? Yeah, I got all this stuff from the old couple pizza wow. place before they tore it down. I can't believe he's bringing her here. You have beautiful skin. You're like a doll. <laughs> oh my so god. Smooth and flexible. <laughs> Why is he doing it like that? It's amazing the way it just snaps back like that. It's, <laughs> it's called youth. I'm a cosmetologist. Ooh. Oh she knows how to take care of herself. The next time you make love to your boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> you could think of me. Um, I haven't made love to him yet. It's too bad. Too bad for who? I think it's could make love with me and think of him. Who knows? Maybe you and he can make love and you could think of me. What the f I'm just what? Happy to be in there somewhere. I'm just happy to be in there somewhere is what he said. Um what is he a dog? Oh, I'm available. <laughs> Oh no! She found out! How did she find out? Is she stalking? And funny things too! She's got one up here that says slippery when wet! How do you know that? She's a great piece of We're all adults here! Let's reason this out! Yeah, Marie that's gonna work. Marie tends to be more direct. You farm boy! Oh! We're damn. married! And it's for you, Cupid doll! Oh, damn, sis. Where did that come from? <laughs> it's so cute. You belong to me. I'm surprised she went on a night date with him. <laughs> Where did that come from, bro? Come right up against your lips and give you a Hmm. Well, I didn't want to get spit on me. <laughs> uh, oh my god, why why is this so uncomfortable? What the fu <laughs> She doesn't want to kiss you, bro. Was it good for you too? <laughs> what? My mother sacrificed everything to send me through cosmetology school. Really? Yeah. Does. Why does he keep <laughs> to marry some power, money, vision? Oh, and he not he's with not a it. Oh, damn! He got a special purpose. I've got a special purpose. You do. Yeah, <laughs> They're talking about two separate things. Your mother's gonna love me. I don't know if the mom will love him. You look so beautiful and peaceful. You almost look dead. She didn't take her makeup off. And the third day seemed like a week again. And the fourth day seemed like eight days. Oh my god, okay. You went to see your mother 
and that seemed just like a day. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to handle this, man. Six days seemed like a week mm. and a half. I think we get it. Tomorrow, when the time is right, I'm going to ask you to marry me. What? I only just rooted. If that's okay with you. Just don't say anything. Uh, she's actually sleeping like happy. she's dead. Whenever spring breaks through I think again. she's leaving him. Oh. She still wrote it. And who's the happiest gal? Not her. He's probably going to destroy that somehow by accident. There's a question I've been wanting to pop, but uh -oh. I'm afraid you'd say no. Don't, but don't do it. Like the right time and place. When so she's not even here. You, you're not even on your Honey, knees. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, not you, Edward Marie. <laughs> I love that his dog is called that. Oh, the see the letters destroyed. Of course. I knew it. I knew it. What? Okay, this is annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think he's wearing undies or a sock on his D. Oh, good boy. Get out of here. Okay, okay, you win. You can go with me. He's so weird, dude. You'd love her, Ma. She looks just like you. Except she's white and blonde. So completely different. The hospital gives out free meals of orange juice and cookies, and all I have to do is give them a pint of blood. Oh. I decided to quit when I cut myself shaving and nothing came out but ears. I have to go now. As your loving son, Nathan. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What does this guy want? Can hating mom. <laughs> Why is he so obsessed with him? <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn saves the day. Oh, that's smart. Oh my god, it opens. That's so annoying. I'm not gonna shoot you. Why not? Well, that was the old me. Oh. Had a bad marriage and I just gave up smoking. So you okay, turn into now. a shooter? I'm a private detective. He's so sweaty, my god. Oh, the no, glasses. Optigraph? Yeah, we call it Optigraph. Oh. We're in business. 50 50. Wow, I'm glad he was honest about it. 250 big ones. Wow. 250? He looks so funny, though. 250 big ones. <laughs> He's like very impressed with himself. 150 donuts. Wait. Want to cash this? Wait. Well, have a seat, Mr. Uh, the Johnson. <laughs> that looks like more than 250. Two temporary driver's license and my astronaut application form. What? Hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <gasps> yeah, it's not two hundred and fifty dollars, bro. He's rich as. He can definitely be the man for... Yeah. I forgot her name, actually. Marie. Marie, Marie. <laughs> he should go back to his family. Because, like, he was sending money to his family when he was poor. He should send some of that money now that he's rich. Yellow. Yes. Yeah. Governor. You're Marie's mom. <gasps> it's read about me in the paper. Oh, of course, yeah, the mom now the wants him. How about $75? Okay. Okay, what is it? He had to pay to find out where she works? Nature hmm. Bays will feature his eyes just one. <laughs> Does he even want to do this? Let's go unmask Irving. Everyone back Oh, to is it going to be him? We are now going to oh, my God. This is going to be funny. This is gonna be good. And he'll look like a different man. Oh, he will look like a different man. <laughs> Jeez, this sh really works. <laughs> Nathan. Oh, my sweetheart. Oh, what I... are you doing to my husband, you Miss Blood? 
Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Whoa, Luckily, they look, they look not so happy. Can they smile? Sir, it would seem with this kind of income you could buy a larger house with proper servants' quarters. Proper servants' quarters? Wow. That's too much. I wouldn't do any of this if I were rich. Maybe like nice clothes. That'd be nice. Wanting a bathtub shaped like a clam. That could be cool. But I've got a lot to learn about handling my money and banks. I hope you he... You have to be careful. I hope he's smart. His dear wife, Hester, took some money out of her savings account and had to pay a substantial penalty for early withdrawal. Oh, my God. <gasps> Whoa. Sorry about your wife, Hobart. Federal regulations, sir. That's oh, yes. wild. Uh, I suppose I'm still not quite over Hester's death. I mean, well, it just happened. <laughs> There's some charity people here to see you, sir. No! Send them away! There's what? a lot of people more deserving than me! Oh! <laughs> <gasps> oh no, not the cats. Don't do anything with the kittens. Oh, little babies. Look at them. Oh. Cat juggling. <laughs> I thought that they were going to murder the kittens. I mean, that's really annoying for the kittens, but at least they're not dying brutally. Oh! You should have X amount of dollars rolling in by the end I reckon of he'll burn through his money. We found a way to get around this fair housing crap. Ah, good. Getting around the crap. That's good. He doesn't know what they're talking about at all. Huh? We're going to keep up. <gasps> the what? The we'll keep them out. Hey, sir! You are talking to an... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did this fighting come from, by the way? Oh my god. Wow. I did not know he could fight. Oh, what the hell is his D made out of? Bring us some fresh wine, the freshest you've got this year. No more of this old. <laughs> <laughs> stuff. That's so funny. Fresh wine. <laughs> no more of this old stuff. <laughs> Fancy restaurant like this at these prices, you would be able to keep the snails off the food. There's oh, so <laughs> escargo. This is exciting. I love this. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Do you have a balloon? Uh, no. Oh, wait, yes. What? Now throw them good and hard so they'll stick. He's very trusting. Two. I would not three, agree to do this. Four, five, and six. <gasps> oh. I can't do anything right. Come Is on, she drunk or something? Right. Oh. Glasses handle that sold 10 million units in a few short months. Wow, that's a lot. Levin is a complex personality, as are most of the small. Look at this ring. It's like sitting right here. Your eyes are constantly drawn to it, and you end up cockeyed. Oh my so director, god. That's why I'm spearheading the $10 million class action suit. Jesus. He didn't even test on prisoners. Oh, on prisoners? Think of the less formal thing. Uh oh, she gonna leave him. I don't care about losing all the money. Really? Losing all the stuff. That's America. what money bought, though. We're gonna receive a fair trial from an impartial jury. They could. Your Honor, they could we, sell the, jury, the stuff. Fine for the plaintiff. Everybody's fine. He's a jerk. I would never buy such ugly glasses anyway. It's their own fault. Pay to the order of... Oh, no. Why does he have to do this? Stark. One dollar and nine cents. This is going to take ages. I just want you like you used to be. What happened to that man? What? What's that I nonsense? And I don't need any of this. I don't need this stuff. And I don't need you. I don't need anything. <sighs> this. I don't need this or this. 
Oh, do you want to put your pants up? Yeah, straight up power game and the remote control. <laughs> that's all I need. Okay. And these mashes and the remote control and the paddle ball. All right. Okay. And what about the phone? Oh, the lamp. Him not pulling his pants up is really starting to bother me. What do you think I have? Some kind of a jerk or something? <sighs> he kind of looks like an idiot. That's all I need. Anything else? He can always go back to his old job at the petrol station. Except my dog. Dog don't want you. Well, I don't need my dog. Ew, it's still not up. It's an old story, one you've probably heard before, but I never thought it would happen to me. Damn, dude, it's really brutal. I can't believe that's like the end of the movie almost. Hey, any of you bums ever heard of Nathan R. Johnson? Hey, that's his fam. This is fam. Oh, at least he's with his fam. Mm. Thank God he's with his fam. Oh, what? Oh, I did was take the money you sent home and then embarked on a periodic investment. Oh, wow. Mutual fund. He leveraged his ass deep into soybeans and cocoa futures. Wow. I picked out the stermas for you. Oh. Thinking about her all the time. But the smell does. Oh, David. <laughs> Damn. Oh, the dog. It's still around. Open all the windows. <laughs> oh, my God. But we built us a bigger one. Oh, nice. Oh, hell yeah. They're both singing and dancing along to the music. Wow, look at him dancing. <laughs> How fun. I was actually surprised, you guys. I didn't know Steve Martin also wrote this film. Well, he wasn't the only one. We also have Carl Gottlieb and Michael Ilias. Sorry if I mispronounce the names. This is directed by Carl Reiner, who is a director that I'm unfamiliar with. This was released in 1979, which I was actually surprised about because it looked really good. I don't know what I was expecting because I've seen movies from the 70s and, you know, early 80s and whatnot. Uh, and they also look really good. But for some reason, I thought, oh, this looks really good. It must be like 1990 something. I don't know why. Actually, I probably know why. It's probably because Steve Martin has always looked the same age. So to me, I'm like Steve Martin in the 90s versus Steve Martin in the 70s. There's like no difference. <laughs> But this film was hilarious. I definitely laughed my ass off. And that is what I want from a comedy. My God, so many times things are listed as comedies and I at best just go <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that cursed laughter, but it's true. It's like, dude, I want to laugh. I want to like almost cry. If this is a comedy, I want to be on the verge of tears because I'm laughing so hard. My jaw's got to be hurting for this to be a comedy. Okay, my jaws probably didn't hurt, but I definitely laughed a lot. And I really enjoyed this film. I had such a blast. Start to finish, pacing was really well done. Comedic timing was perfect. It had the most endearing character ever. Naven was so endearing, so silly, so stupid that you just had to love him. You had to root for him and you couldn't help but laugh at him and sometimes with him <laughs> as well because he wasn't shy of laughing at himself. He definitely wasn't the type of guy to take things very seriously or life very seriously even though at some points he probably should have, like maybe thinking about his invention a little bit uh, deeper. Uh, but to be fair, his partner, who seemed to be a little bit more intelligent than him, didn't think about it too deeply either. Originally, when I first saw the invention, I was like, hey, that's actually a really good idea, but I did not think about the whole cross-eyed thing. But it makes sense as to why that isn't a thing in today's modern world. 
that and also it's hideous i would never be caught dead wearing glasses that look like that but that's a whole different other point i also absolutely loved his character growth he was so naive i mean he's a naive character in general but he was so naive at the beginning of the film and then he just sort of grows and learns he he learns about the birds and the bees uh by accident but that was hilarious marie was just so perfect for him played by bernadette peters i thought she did really well because she was like very old timey i know this film was 1979 but i mean she was like 40s 50s chick kind of vibe and she fit that character really really well i also really loved his family his family were just his rock and they pulled through for him in the end when he was dirt poor and i'm so glad that marie didn't leave him because of his homelessness either to me it's kind of seemed like maybe she was influenced by her mom and her mom was like you need to marry a really rich guy and then he lost all of his riches and i thought oh perhaps she's left him and now she's influenced by her mom's like thoughts and beliefs and that's the last we'll ever see or hear of marie but at the end when she said that you know the first thing she did was call his family i was so so grateful that she wasn't that kind of partner that she was there for him through richness and poor that was really wholesome that was that really just lifted my spirits i feel really happy and good coming out of that film and i haven't heard my peers talk about this film so i'm definitely going to be the one to recommend this film to my peers and just be the one to talk about it because i feel like i haven't heard of this and i don't know if anybody else that i've been around have heard about this film because i've not heard of them talk about this film maybe it's just so old that nobody talks about this film anymore but i thought it was a hidden gem there's one joke in particular that i can safely say that would never work in any comedy made today but it's a 1979 comedy so they got away with it then i will say that i was quite shocked at that moment you guys all know the moment that i'm talking about but it was also hilarious because he said that with a straight face completely believing that he was a black person when he's not and that was what made that moment so funny to me that even after stepping out of his family home and seeing the rest of the world he still thinks that he's a black person like it just it was just so hilarious to me and so bizarre that's one of the things that make comedies really successful the craziness of it all if it's that bizarre it is just so funny to witness on screen and they did that really really well it was crazy uh it was over the top but i loved it it was so fun let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it really does help my channel out if you watched the end of this video and you're like i want to watch the full version with her you can i have the uncut version over on patreon you just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me there's going to be a timer i could be on one screen and the movie could be on the other screen but besides uncuts i also provide early access to my content bloopers behind the scenes polls all that good stuff and you can find me on all the social media handles as well i'm on everything so check it out and you can find my two other channels as well my gaming channel cherry place and my vlog channel very cherry all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.